This is a 1954 Kaiser Darren. Beautiful shape, brilliant red color. <clears throat> very, again, very advanced for its age. Uh, it uh, <clears throat> fiberglass body, a six-cylinder engine. Only 435 of these were built. So this is a rare car. But what makes this car really unusual in my mind is that it has a hardtop. Now, the original Kaiser Darren's had a three-position top where you could have it half up and fully up and down. Uh, this one looks like this top is kind of built into the car. It looks like it's very streamlined. Too bad we can't get around to the back to see how it's configured all the way around. But it looks to me like it's one piece, kind of like a Corvette. Uh, fiberglass hardtop put on top of the car instead of the putting up the convertible top. So it's very unusual. Never seen one like that before. Notice the uh, strange grill and of course the the uh, doors that slid up into the front fender. And these doors are partially open on this car for demonstration purposes. Neat car. Now the next one next to it is a, a Divco uh, milk truck, 1957. Now they had the same basic style from 1939 to 1960, a four-cylinder Continental engine. Now, I think anybody that is even remotely around my age remembers these trucks plying their trade day after day, uh, delivering the milk. And if you lived where I did uh, in the winter, they put it in an insulated box so that uh, it wouldn't freeze. And when it did freeze, if it did, it would pop the top of the milk. <laughs> so that was interesting. The cream would be on top and uh, it would just expand and pop the top. These delivery trucks uh, were very useful and not, you know, people didn't have many cars. Oftentimes they just had one car. So... Uh, this, these delivery trucks uh, were very useful in bringing stuff to the home. 